James Garner was a critically acclaimed American actor, best known for his appearances in films like The Notebook, Space Cowboys, and The Great Escape, as well as TV shows like The Rockford Files and, of course, Maverick. This star was known especially for his charm, and he was immensely popular among the women of his time. He was envied and admired by men across the country who wished they could match his handsome appearance and witty charm. While he may have lost some of his rugged good looks as he grew older, he's still remembered for the objectively cool roles he played. James Garner was best known for playing dramatic roles, usually in the archetype of the unlikely hero. Surprisingly enough, however, he earned his Academy Award nomination for his role in the 1985 romantic comedy Murphy's Romance. Still, despite the movie being a comedy, Garner's character was rather grumpy. James Garner was one of those actors with the natural ability to play the tough guy. At the same time, however, his characters were always likable. Perhaps it was his good looks, or maybe his quick wit, that made him so favorable no matter how rough and tough his character was. Garner's career as an actor spanned an impressive 60 years, although his climb to fame was slow and laborious. It took a while for Hollywood to recognize his acting ability, but when the film industry finally realized they had a star on their hands, they wasted no time in casting him in all sorts of lead roles. Life as a Hollywood star is always painted as glamorous, and while Garner certainly lived a life of wealth and prosperity during his later years, this didn't apply to all of his life. His childhood was filled with death, tragedy, and abuse. He finally discovered acting when he was 25, but before that, he was toiling at various difficult jobs for years to scrape a living. Surprisingly, James Garner was able to overcome this hardship, and he eventually rose to a star among both film and television. Still, after he secured a spot as one of the leading actors of his time, he wasn't immune to the difficulties of life. His demanding career forced him to persevere through many struggles. In this video, we're going to take a look at the winding road of James Garner's career. Make sure you stick around, because we're going to reveal how his brutal childhood eventually helped him as an actor. His family was struck by tragedy. James Garner was born April 7, 1928, in Denver, Oklahoma, to Weldon and Mildred Bumgarner. He had two older brothers, Jack and Charles. The family was deeply affected by the Depression. His father owned a hardware store and post office on a lonely country road. The family's house was attached to the back of the store, and they didn't even have indoor plumbing. The family was struck by tragedy when James was just four. His mother died in what Garner later suspected was an abortion gone wrong. With a large family that was already struggling to put food on the table, it's no wonder Mildred Bumgarner didn't want to have another child. However, her death left the family in even poorer condition. James's father had no idea how to raise his children, and eventually had them all sent to different relatives until he remarried. He was brutally abused. James's reunion with his father and brothers should have been a happy one, but it ended up being miserable. His stepmother, Wilma, was horribly abusive. She took out most of her anger on young James and beat him even more than his older brothers. One particular punishment she devised was to force James to wear a dress in public to humiliate him. She even made everyone call him Louise to further add to the punishment. When he was 14, in the middle of a particularly severe beating, he finally had enough. He threw his stepmother to the ground and fought back. She left the family immediately after, and James and his brothers were finally free from her violence. Surprisingly, however, this horrible trauma taught James Garner to fight back, and it led him to eventually cultivate his honest and effortless acting style that we all know and love. He served in the military. Soon after Wilma left the family, Garner's father fled to Los Angeles for work, leaving his three children to fend for themselves. Young Garner dropped out of school, later admitting he was a terrible student. Instead, at age 16, he enlisted in the Navy towards the end of World War II. While he enjoyed the work, he eventually had to depart because he suffered from chronic seasickness. This wouldn't be the last he saw of the military, however. He enlisted in the California Army National Guard and served in Korea for over two years. During his time in the military, he suffered injuries from two separate occasions once from shrapnel and the second time through friendly fire. As a result, he received two Purple Hearts, although the second one was delayed until 32 years after the incident occurred. His first role had no lines. 
After his time in the military, Garner bounced from job to job. While working as a gas station attendant, he met a man named Paul Gregory, who wanted to become a theatrical agent. Gregory remarked that Garner would make a great Hollywood star, chiefly for his looks. Some years later, Garner discovered that Paul Gregory had indeed achieved his dream job, and Garner met up with him. Gregory landed him a non-speaking role in the 1954 Broadway production The Cane Mutiny Court Martial. While he didn't speak at all on stage, Garner learned a lot from the experience. He watched the other actors carefully, particularly Henry Fonda, who Garner later admitted that he swiped practically all his acting style from. After spending some more time in theater, Garner eventually began to appear in television commercials and then supporting roles in films and TV shows. While he had a long and prolific career, however, his later years were plagued by numerous health problems. Make sure you stick around until the end, where we'll reveal how James Garner died, as well as the legacy he left as an actor. And if you're enjoying this video so far, take a moment to like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. He was very political. Garner was very outspoken about his political beliefs. He was a huge supporter of the Democratic Party and donated at least $29,000 to various campaigns, especially to Democratic Party candidates, as well as committees and groups. He also joined Martin Luther King Jr. on the legendary March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom on August 28, 1963. Garner sat in the third row during Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous I Have a Dream speech. It was his involvement in politics that would eventually lead him to the love of his life. His love life was unusual for a film star. James Garner met Lois Clark in 1956 during a political rally for presidential candidate Adlai Stevenson, and sparks flew immediately. In his autobiography, The Garner Files, a memoir, Garner remarked, Stevenson lost, I won. Garner was crazy about Lois from the moment they met, and he took her out to dinner every night for two weeks. Shockingly, they married after just 14 days of knowing each other on August 17, 1956. Together, they raised Lois Clark's daughter from a previous marriage, Kim, as well as their own beloved daughter, Greta. Many Hollywood stars at the time were known for multiple marriages, messy divorces, and scandalous infidelities. James Garner, however, remained married to Lois Clark for 58 years until his eventual death in 2014. Unlike the cruel family he grew up in, James was a loving husband and father. His name was changed without his permission. Many stars choose to change their names so they look and sound better on resumes and marquees. Garner was actually born with the name James Bumgarner, but Warner Brothers changed his last name to Garner without permission. James didn't formally complain, however, and the new name stuck. He was in poor health long before his death. James Garner was a smoker most of his life, and continued even after he underwent open-heart surgery in 1988. He later suffered a stroke, which took a severe toll on his health. That, combined with multiple knee surgeries and his old injuries in the military, meant Garner's body was wearing down. While he continued to act until very late in his life, his health problems only grew worse. Sadly, he died at age 86 on July 14, 2014. Today, however, he's remembered not just for his skill as an actor, but for his sweet personality and unfailing kindness. Despite all the hardship and cruelty he faced as a child, James never let anything stop him from reaching success. Were you more surprised to learn he married his wife just two weeks after they met, or that his name was changed without his permission? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Factsverse for more.